So how do you feel about the American policy in the Middle East in general, both uh, under the Trump administration and now under Biden? I think during the Trump administration, uh, the foreign policy in the Middle East was much better. He really helped us with keeping peace between countries. He was not, you know, starting new wars. He wasn't trying to go fight, you know, these people. He was basically just taking down terrorists is what he was doing for the most part. It didn't bother you that he was uh, uh, fighting the war against uh, uh, Islamist terrorism? No, because the terrorism, the Islamist terrorism that you see is really not, I mean, if there's people raping, killing, you know, that's not okay. That doesn't align with any of our beliefs. Okay. Uh, how about, uh, but he brought, uh, he introduced the Abraham Accords. From what I understand about that, I don't agree with it. Um, I really think that we should not be having Middle Eastern countries or Muslim countries, uh, Israel being the only non-Muslim country um, in the Middle East. I really don't think we should be having uh, ties with them like that. We shouldn't be having that because they're Zionists, obviously, and it just shows the leadership that we have in these Muslim countries that they're not being true to their people. They're not being true to their religion and they're not being true to their traditions either. An example of that being Saudi Arabia. Well, Saudi Arabia is not actually part of the Abraham they're Accords. Not, okay. Well, you, you can use UAE as an example. Yeah, UAE. And they're not being true to what? To our religion. You know, we can't agree with Zionism and we can't agree with that. Obviously, in the past, Palestine has been, you know, it's been majority Muslim. It's been like that. I mean, I think we can have people of different faiths, Christians, Jews, and Muslims, you know, residing there, but we need to have that um, sense that, you know, the Jews can have their synagogue, the Christians can have their churches, and the Muslims need to always have their right to worship in Masjid al-Aqsa. Because it is the third most holiest place in the world. And, I mean... After? After uh, okay. Mecca and Medina. Um, but the can Arab... Add something? Add something? Add something. So, um, Muslims actually, during the time of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, peace be upon him, um, they were praying towards Jerusalem for quite a while. Actually, there was a time period, and then it switched to Mecca uh, from a revelation from God. So I would just—that's just highlighting the significance that it has to us. Our Prophet and all of the Muslims were praying towards Jerusalem. At, in a, during that time. Um, so w before you said uh, that uh, Muslims, Christians, and Jews uh, should be living in Israel under Muslim law? Yes, under Muslim rule. I mean, I obviously as a Muslim, I'm going to support my people, my religion, and I believe that's what's correct. You know, because you can actually have, there's this thing called jizya, and that's where in a Muslim country, under Muslim rule, you will have Christians or Jews paying tax. a tax for them to be able to live under their own law, their own religious law, rather than having to obey the Islamic law. And I think that's the perfect solution for what we have. Yeah. Um, but are Jews allowed to own land even in other Muslim countries? I actually don't know about that myself, but I do know that in a lot of Muslim countries, uh, unless you are a citizen, you can own property like that, like own land and stuff. So what countries are tolerant of uh, Jews living there? Muslim, I mean, Arab countries. Um, from my understanding, their UAE would be one of them, but it's been a long time since I've been to the Middle East or any of those countries, and I don't know what the dynamics are right now. How would you envision creating that? I mean, it's essentially... It, because uh, Israel was established as legitimately as other countries in the Mideast after World War I. From my understanding, they actually got that land through a peace treaty of some sort with Britain. Um, so I think a lot of people don't know about that, but it, Britain was involved in that conflict.